Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is going to be this gold and blue metallic makeup look. begin I just want to let you guys know that there is a eyebrow tutorial down in the description box if you guys want to know how I do my eyebrows I also have one eye done so let's get started on the next one I'm applying my soft ochre paint pot from MAC all over my eyelids this is such a crucial part for me especially when doing a look including color because it just makes the colors appear so much more vibrant and it just makes everything blend a lot smoother too so I'm just applying that all over my eyelid and then I'm going into the naked one palette and I'm taking the color naked and just applying it into the crease as our first transition shade this will just make everything blend a lot easier and it just means that the blue has something to blend into I'm using this on a very fluffy blending brush just to get a really nice seamless blend. Then from that same palette I'm taking Buck which is a gorgeous colour and this is just going to go into the crease just to deepen it a little bit and also just to warm it up a little bit because when we do apply that blue it is going to be a very cool toned blue so just to warm up the crease a little bit I'm just applying a little bit of this with another blending brush. Then taking this Morphe palette and this shimmery blue shade, I'm going to start to apply this into the outer and inner corner with a pencil brush. I am going to connect the inner corner and the outer corner with the eyeshadow, almost creating a halo effect around the eye. Then I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and just making sure to blend that colour out as much as I possibly can. You just want to make sure to really, really blend things out and just to make sure that the blue blends in into the brown that we applied previously. The brown is there to kind of create a nice transition between the brown and the blue. So this is just going to make everything look a lot more seamless. So just try and blend it the best that you can. And then if you feel like you need to, go back into that brush that you used to apply the brown and just go around the edges of the blue just to diffuse them a little bit more and that way it doesn't look as chunky. Then I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and just apply this on the outer corner of my eye just to make it look a lot more seamless. And then with the Morphe palette, I'm going to take this darker shade of blue and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this into the outer corner just to deepen it a little bit. Next, taking this half-baked shade from the Naked palette again, I'm going to apply this as the center lid color. And I want to apply this right in the center to give our eyes that really nice halo effect. The blue really complements the gold. It's a really nice color combination. And I just think it's really different. You can use any kind of color for this. You can use a white, but I do feel like gold is really, really nice. Next, I'm just going to apply a very thin line of liner to the top lash line. This will just create a little bit of definition and it will also allow the eyes to have something for the lashes to sit on. Because this is quite a bold look, you might want to apply just the smallest line of liner so that the lashes just have something to adhere to and it just looks a little bit more natural. I'm applying my Isla 126 lashes with some tweezers and then I'm applying some mascara to my lashes to make sure that the lashes blend in to the false ones. Next we're going to get started on my skin and I'm going to be applying my Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer all over my skin just to smooth everything out before I apply my foundation. And for foundation today, I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I'm using the colour Sand Beige at the moment. And I'm just going to be applying this all over and just kind of spreading it into the skin a little bit. I'm using a damp beauty blender to buff this into the skin and just bounce this into the skin to create a nice flawless finish. I just want to make sure it's as blended as it can possibly be. This is a really nice full coverage foundation, but you need to make sure you blend it really, really well. Thank you. 
And then with my Sigma 3D HD precision brush, I'm just going around my eyebrows and all the other little areas just to make sure that I don't affect the makeup I applied previously. Then I'm just going to apply my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. You guys know I absolutely love this concealer. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. You want to go for something quite brightening, especially because we're using blue eyeshadow. If you don't really highlight them under eyes and get rid of any dark color under the eyes, it can look a little bit dark under there. So I would recommend trying to brighten your under eyes because the blue can affect it quite a bit. I'm just going to be blending that in with my beauty blender again. Next I'm going to be setting my under eyes with the Soap & Glory Instant Retouch Powder and I'm taking this on a Sigma F35 brush. This is probably one of my favourite brushes at the moment because it just sets your under eyes so beautifully. So I'm just taking the tapered side and getting it as close to the bottom lash line as possible. And I'm also using that to set my forehead and my nose as well just to make sure that everything is nice and smoothed over. Next for my eyes, I'm just going to apply some black coal liner to my waterline and I'm also going to take it slightly underneath the lash line too. This will just kind of create a nice smoky effect and it will kind of act as a base to apply that blue as well. So I'm just running it across the bottom lash line and just making sure to get in between the little lashes as well. Next we're just taking some of that blue just to add a little bit more colour to the look. This just kind of ties it together in my opinion and just makes it look super blue and really really gorgeous. And then to finish off the look I'm just applying some mascara to my bottom lash line and then I'm also going to highlight my inner corner as well. To highlight my inner corner, I'm going to take Virgin from the Naked Palette also and just take a very small detail brush and just apply this on the inner corner and this will just kind of brighten that area and just make the whole look look more angelic and just feminine. I really love how this just makes the whole look pop. Next I'm going to be bronzing my skin and I'm taking some of the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark and I'm just going to apply this to my skin with a big fluffy powder brush. I just want to have an overall bronze today, I don't really want to contour or anything like that because the eyes are so much. So I just want to overall give myself some colour and just go around the outer perimeter of my face and just make me look nice and bronzed but not too much at the same time. I'm also going to be applying a little bit of blusher today, I'm taking the Hot Mama Blusher and this is a really gorgeous just pink shade with a little bit of a peachy undertone and I'm just applying that to my cheeks and just kind of taking it up to my temple a little bit just to lift my face and then I also am highlighting all the high points of my face with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Illuminator. This is my favorite highlighter ever. It just gives that really nice luminous glow without it looking glittery which I absolutely love. And then for the lips, I'm going to be taking Rimmel's Cappuccino Lip Liner. This is probably one of my favourite lip liners and I'm going to be loving it for the fall and winter because it's a really nice cool brown nude pencil and it's just so nice. And I'm just kind of running this all along the lip line. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to be taking Honey Love Lipstick, which you guys know is definitely one of my old favourites. I absolutely love this. And I'm just using my finger to make sure that it's blended very well to the lip liner so it looks nice and seamless. So guys, that is the finished look for today. I hope that you enjoyed this colourful makeup tutorial. I haven't done a tutorial that involved so much colour in a while, so I'm really glad that I've done this tutorial because I do miss colour. You guys know I am a very colourful person, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this nice colourful makeup tutorial. If you did enjoy, then please do like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to check the description box where all the products are listed down below. Don't forget to follow me on all social media. I am on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, all under Makeup by Layla. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. I can't believe 
The night lay waste all we give in. But honestly, you've got to know that this ain't living.